The idea for this project was born at the University of Chemnitz, Germany. The goal of this project is to create a virtual training simulator for one of the most difficult steps during a hip operation, the reaming of the hip socket before a new implant can be inserted. Trying this step out, including haptic feedback before the actual operation, can be considered an important step during the planning phase, before the actual intervention. And it can be a milestone during the training of surgery students. Virtual reality will probably be a new way of training of surgery students. The new technologies will allow for students to train and learn complex operations in a virtual reality environment, instead of trying them out on real patients in the operating room. We can create this experience by making the robot move forward ever so slightly in a controlled way. This will create the illusion for the trainees that they have actually removed bone material, exactly like they would feel in the real world with a real reamer. Interestingly, the robot was not developed for this purpose, but we had the idea to reverse the usual use case and make the robot present contacts and forces to the user of our VR system. Upon contact between the virtual reamer and the virtual bone, we can calculate forces and present them to the user using the robot, such that the user has the feeling of actually touching or reaming real bones. This is exactly what matters in such a virtual reality medical simulation. A surgery student should be able to acquire experience and knowledge of how it feels and what forces to exert when he or she starts reaming the bones and remove material. In order to achieve this, it is very important to exactly understand the properties and behavior of the material i.e. how much material will be removed, in what time, under which pressure. We were fortunate enough to receive samples from donors. This allowed us to accurately measure the forces and torques that occur during reaming. The robot plays a very important role in our scenario because it represents the interface between the real world and the trainee and the simulated world with the virtual patient. I was very positively surprised how the feeling of the operation site was very accurate and how the visualization was very realistic. Also, I had the overwhelming feeling to stand in a real operating room and be present in it. When it comes to the training of surgeons who perform hip surgeries on a regular basis, this can be a very exciting way to acquire some of the experience, and this prototype is a great step towards Towards this goal. We have now demonstrated here a very successful first prototype, which we will improve and fine-tune during the remainder of this project.